<laughs> hey what's going on youtube uh welcome back sorry for the delay there in the video, video last week uh, i recorded it twice and i just i didn't i didn't really like it um i kept rambling on about this or that this or that um but first off i wanted to say uh thank you to anybody i'm currently here in tulsa uh, i've been here since last friday i just got done with the train the trainer class and well so we got a new polo there uh we have completed the class so everything is official now uh however i'm not bringing a student out uh right now i'll go home in two weeks and um you need, you know, I have to dedicate three weeks to a student. Um, so uh, we won't get our first student until after uh, I get off vacation. And so, um, you know, we'll update accordingly, but we still have uh, two weeks of running. Um, it's currently Saturday, um, I don't know, April 15th or something like that. Um, but we're gonna be here in Tulsa till Monday and then uh, hook up to a trailer and who knows where from there, so. Uh, awesome class, really, really good experience. Um, met some cool dudes. Uh, went and got to play. I went and played some golf this week. That was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, I went to the the barber shop this week. Got cleaned up. I was looking looking pretty homeless there for a little bit. Um, but uh, overall, really good week. But this week's video is about uh, my weekly pay update. Uh, and this is actually going to be not last week, but the week before, because I didn't do that video. So, uh, and then right after this video, I'm going to do last week's. And then, uh, I'm still working on the, the one year video. We might do, try to get that done this weekend. I'm not sure, uh, if I'll get it done or not. Um, but anywho, two weeks ago, all right, uh, we had two loads. All right. So we left at, um, Laredo. Uh, we had a big AC unit and actually I got about a hundred miles down the road and uh, these AC units are covered in plastic and the plastic started ripping off the unit itself. Um, and so I called safety as like, Hey, um, I need to toss some straps over the top because I'm, I didn't know at the time I could just rip it off. Uh, I thought the plastic had to be intact upon delivery. Um, safety is like, uh, go ahead and come back to Laredo. So I went ahead and came back to Laredo um, and safety cleared me to throw a couple straps over the top um, just, to hold, just to hold the plastic down, not the unit itself. The unit's chained. Uh, we use chains on the AC units. Um, and so all went well, went and made the, made, made the delivery, sorry. Um, and so, uh, and then I learned, hey, you could have just ripped off the plastic. So, uh, you know, everything's a learning curve out here on the road um and so you know i learned that anywho uh that was from laredo to danville illinois uh 1245 miles and then melton added uh 228 miles because i had driven you know 100 100 and whatever 109 miles up and then 109 miles back um or back and then back anywho I, they paid me for the extra mileage for having to go back to laredo um and then because I lost a day of driving, they also gave me layover pay. Um, so uh, that speaks volumes of Melton uh, or about Melton, you know, and um, they really do take care of their drivers here. Um, and it's not me drinking the blue Kool-Aid. That's one reason I haven't put out my one year video yet um, because I'm trying to make a pro con list for my Melton review. And a majority of my cons or complaints are pretty much OTR specific. Uh, it wouldn't matter whose name's on my door. I'd probably have the same complaints, but trying to find some cons here for Melton. Um, not to say they're perfect because they're not, um, but they are a very, very good company. Um, but that's, that, that'll be a topic for that one year Melton review. Um, and again, I'll, I'll try to work on it today. Um, I've pretty much got all my chores done and wash my truck, et cetera. Um, clean my truck, you know, all the, all the housekeeping and stuff. So anywho, uh, after we dropped off in Danville, Illinois, they deadheaded us uh, over to Greenville, Illinois, um, and we picked up some rolled roofing, and we took that up to Haskell, New Jersey. So uh, if you've been following the channel, y'all know I'm not a big fan of the Northeast, but it's part of being OTR. Uh, fortunately, they got me right out of the Northeast, so uh, very happy about that. Uh, that was 1,046 miles for a total of 
2291 so 2291 miles for the week uh again i am paid 58 cents a mile here at melton um as i just hit my one year mark a couple weeks ago so what does that mean so we gross 1215 dollars and our per diem was 320 and so excuse me you know so you can kind of do the math um whatever your you know deductions would be i don't have alimony i don't have child support or nothing like that um but you know that kind of gives you a reference point of you know how much you can expect to make here at milton and that's why i do these videos you know and i literally just write down information from my pay stub um and i try to put the pay stub picture in the video so you know it's not like i'm trying to oh you know oh i made i made this amount of money when i really made this amount of money right there's none of that here i try to be very transparent um in my videos there's no point in lying um i'm not i don't do these videos and in, in trying to recruit anybody to melton uh my video and, and again i don't i don't get i'm not on their social media team i know Mel, that's something melton does offer um is if a video meets a certain criteria and like views or likes or comments or whatever um if you're a part of that social media team then they pay you i am not on that program um uh, they reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to join and I declined because I don't want to be censored. Um, you know, if I have a bad week at Melton, you know, and whether it's miles or I don't think it would happen, but if they, you know, somehow treated me poorly, I'm going to tell you about that. And if I would have accepted that program, I, I, I would, I would be censored more than, more than likely. I, I didn't read any terms or conditions that this is all assumptions. But typically when a company pays you to be a social media, they typically don't pay you to put out negative content. Uh, so again, that's why I chose not to accept that. Um, because I, from day one, I try to keep things, you know, raw, keep it real. Um, and just give you a, just a blanket, open, honest opinion of how things are going here at Melton. Um, so that's why I do these videos. Again, I've, I've mentioned it numerous times. I've talked to people this week. Uh, to those that I've, you know, I'm a rabbit trail here real quick. Um, for those that I've met here at Tulsa, whether it's orientation or a couple guys that just upgraded to their truck, you know, they come out and talk to me and, you know, oh, hey, man, I watch your videos. Or a couple guys said, you know, I'm the reason they came to Melton. And that, that's always really good to hear um, because while I don't, do these videos for recruiting purposes um it's it's cool to know that like that i have that kind of influence on some people um and that these videos actually you know do something for somebody it's not just me uh wasting my time i enjoy making these videos it's not I, you know obviously i don't do it every day uh, or anything like that but uh content creation I, I, it's something i enjoy um and just kind of just you know being informative again i'm not very entertaining I, most of my videos are just like this i sit here and talk to a camera in one angle there's not okay i'm gonna talk over here and then i'm gonna talk over here and then i'm gonna show this you know I, i'm not a very good cinematographer um but if i can just keep putting this content out there and, and helping people or you know maybe not helping people but informing people out there if, what to truly expect when you get here at Melton, um, then that, that for me, it meets my needs as a content creator. So, uh, with that being said, uh, this week that I'm going over in this video finished off Q1 or the first quarter. Uh, so I want to talk about that. So in Q1, I grossed $15,000. So for the first three months, I grossed $15,000. I netted like a hundred dollars shy of 12,000. Um, so I just, I, I, I'm telling y'all tell 12,000, it was like 11, eight ninety or so. So $110 off of 12,000. Uh, so if you do that, divide that up by a week, um, that's going to be about a grand a week that I'm bringing home. Um, and so again, that, um, all but one paycheck or two paychecks, sorry, two paychecks were at 53 cents a mile. So, um, a lot of that doesn't reflect the five cent raise that I got for meeting my one year mark. Um, so we'll see how Q2 goes. Uh, probably the end, the last month of Q2, I'm probably going to be at 60 cents a mile, uh, depending, actually I probably won't because I'm taking two weeks off. So I'm not sure if I'll hit 120,000 before the end of Q2. I'm right at a hundred thousand, uh, dispatch smiles right now. So that gives me, um, really three months kind of the hit or we're halfway through April. So kind of two and a half months to hit another 20,000. 
I'm taking another two weeks off here in two weeks. So really two months to hit 20,000. So about 10,000 miles a month, which is what I want to average. Um, but, you know, depending on freight, summertime is coming up. So that should help. Um, but this video is 10 minutes. It's way too long. Uh, I don't like making these videos that long. So we're going to go ahead and bump off here. Uh, I'm going to do my next video. And then, heck, we might, I might change it up for my one year. I'm at the, I'm at the terminal. So I might, you know, put some b-roll in of the inspection bay or the shop or the main terminal or my truck or me and ellie or whatever it may be anywho i gotta get off this y'all have a fantastic day if you have any comments drop them below uh if questions dm me links will be or the handles will be below um other than that y'all have a good day